Hey everyone, what's up? This is Logan, and I've noticed something. Out of all the videos I've done on my YouTube channel and my two websites, Logotronics and Logo Views, out of all those videos, I say there's one type of genre, if you will, that I've done the most. Out of all the VCRs, DVD players, record players, Sega Nomads, whatever, the most I've done is plug and plays. So that's why I decided to turn this into a series. So, without further ado, Logan's plug and plays! Hmm, should probably create a better intro in the future. Anyway, would you like to see the first item in our collection? I do hope so, because I'm going to show you it to you. You know, I feel like now might be a good time. Anyway, this is the Atari 2600 Plug and Play, made by our good friends at TV Games. Now, this being the first episode is fitting for two reasons. One... This is the first plug-and-play made by Jack Specific. Two, the Atari 2600 was kind of the first mainstream console, the first console many people owned. And also, Atari created the first ever video arcade game, Computer Space. Now, this episode is also special because today is Atari's... 40th birthday. I know, exciting, isn't it? But yeah, today is June 27th, 2012. And... Today is Atari's 40th birthday, and this plug-and-play came out in 2002, which would have been Atari's 30th birthday. In fact, I almost wonder if that may have had something to do with it. Now, I like plug-and-plays. If you have visited my channel and watched my videos, you should probably know that. One of the reasons I like these plug-and-plays is, as I've said in many of my other videos, they're sort of like a human child. Or really any child, to be perfectly honest. Because while they all have many flaws, you can almost look past them with the uniqueness of each and every one of them. Today... The uniqueness comes in the form of, it's looking like, an Atari 2600 joystick. Here is one for comparison. Now, there are a few subtle differences. But, okay, here are the differences. For one thing, the rings around the joysticks are different colors. On the original... It is orange. On this one, it's white. I really don't know why they changed that. The other thing is, in the corner here, there's an Atari logo. On this thing, there's a big fat Zippo. Something you may not be able to tell is, one is a bit bigger than the other. Now, I can kind of get that, considering the fact that the plug-and-play has innards, and the original joystick, well, it has innards, but this is its own console. This plugs into a console. Anyway, another subtle difference, obviously, is that one plugs into an Atari and the Sega Genesis ColecoVision 
every pro probably every computer that has ever existed before 2000. So it plugs into a lot. This just plugs into a TV with its mono AV out. The other thing is the controller and how well it controls. Now, with both of these, the joystick is pretty much god awful. But the original is actually slightly better. Because, well, they're both very stiff. But this one is just a bit more stiff. I don't really mind this too much, but. I don't know. I, it's just kind of a gripe I have with these joysticks. But, I mean, it does kind of give, it does sort of give the original feel of the Atari 2600 controller. So, points for that. The other thing is the buttons. This feels a bit, hmm, springy, if you will. Can't really describe it. But this thing feels a bit more like a modern controller. It actually actually kind of feels a bit like a uh, Sony, one of the Sony controllers. One of the uh, PS1, PS2, PS3, PSP controller things. Well, until they switched to the PS Vita, which has that horrible clicking thing they had on the DS. Anyway, but that's about it. So, let's hook it up to the television and play it.